and these books are going to be up for grabs. Of course, things are going to go wrong. Perfection. Yum. And they're looking great. Good morning and welcome to my perfectly imperfect working kitchen. Cleaning this space is definitely an ongoing task as I'm often cooking in here and then cleaning and then cooking again and it always becomes a mess very quickly. But after all, it is the heart of the home and so today let's spend a day in it together. I'm starting my morning with putting together a sourdough English muffins recipe. I have tried this one before and it hasn't worked, but I'm willing to give it another chance and hope for a better outcome. Last night I fed my starter, which is now several months old and does really well with neglect. It still bakes up beautifully and now that it's more forgiving, it allows me to skip steps or do lazy bakes with great results, so I'm looking forward to giving it another go today. This last week has been very chilly, so I'm rugged up and enjoying the warmth of the oven as I spend the day inside. I really enjoy having big days dedicated to cooking and cleaning. It means I can make an absolute mess on one day instead of several, and since I'm already tied down to the kitchen, it's easier to balance and achieve more in less time. So you might see that I'm cleaning as I'm cooking, and this just helps to keep it manageable so that at the end of the day, I don't end up with more dishes than when I started. I'm cleaning the kitchen as I go. We don't own a lot of things, but I have been trying to downsize and move things around as we prepare for tiny living. I am beginning to look at our book collection and decide what will come with us, what will go into storage and what can be donated. And one thing that I treasure most is all the incredible homesteading and gardening books that have inspired me so far. So listen in because later on I am going to announce a very special giveaway with some of my books, some of my favorite books from my personal library as the prizes, along with a few handmade things from my shop, Ethical Wonder. I have a few old favorites and a few new recipes to try out today. I'm now making some homemade chocolate. This recipe is so delicious. It is up on our Patreon page. It makes a really great healthy snack when you don't know what you want and all you want is a balance of sweet and savory. I'm finally getting to try out the mold that I saved from a cake that we had for our friend's birthday party and I'm hoping for the best. Here I am trying to make a beautiful aesthetic video and of course things are going to go wrong. My oven was on which is really strange because it shouldn't have been and it literally cooked my sourdough starter. Luckily the dough is okay, I was able to kind of save that and hopefully it's not ruined. Otherwise that's the second time I've attempted this recipe with things going wrong. So. Yeah, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> I'm going to try and make this pretzel recipe as well. I've never made pretzels before. They're supposed to get cooked similar to bagels, so I am curious to see how this goes. Two and a quarter. One, two. Did 
I'm glad to see that adding yeast after the rise time to fix unrisen dough has worked well. And I think it's always good to experiment with what you think could work because you might surprise yourself. Sam has two gigs this weekend and he has been flat out with his new band Whiskey and Whiskers. They have been playing up a storm in the valley and it's been great to see him inspired with his music again. Music has always been a big passion of Sam's and it's great to see him take pride in not only his musical ventures but also his new job as a disability carer. I certainly miss having him around, but I'm so glad to see his success. That man has been so busy earning us an income so that we can finish this bus build and begin the process of getting her roadworthy and registered as a motorhome. Heaps of bus videos coming your way over the next few weeks, um, but not today. Today you get to spend the day with me. It looks like they need just a moment to rest and then you can shape them really nice. Hmm? It floats. <laughs> They're so huge. <laughs> okay. I'm just glad I ended up sprinkling yeast and giving that a go. Seeing if it worked, because it did. I just can't believe you can boil bread. I guess it's like a dumpling. Take me for If it breaks easily though, it looks pretty thick. Oh, wow. wow. Yum. Even though today's cooking session didn't quite go as well as I'd hoped, I had a lot of fun. I really do enjoy trying out new recipes. They often don't work and sometimes they do and they're really pleasantly surprising. 
But I don't let that get me down because either way, whether it's a win or a loss of a recipe, it's all learning, it's all trial and error. And besides those days where I do get a really good recipe, it's really good. So it's well worth the experimenting. This weekend, we have a rally happening down the road from us. I have never experienced that before. I've definitely heard it coming down the hill. So I might head down later on today or maybe get the drone up in the air and check it out. And if I do end up doing that, then this is probably the footage you're seeing right now. <laughs> We have done it. We have reached 4,000 subscribers, 4,000 incredible human beings, you guys out there that are supporting us, part of our community, part of our learning, our adventure, and all of the fun and lessons that we get to do together along the way. And so to celebrate this really huge milestone, it's been a while since we did a giveaway. And I didn't want to go out and buy a bunch of new things or even gather things that you may not find useful. So I had to have a think of what I wanted to do for this giveaway. And I think this is going to be something really special. And I hope that you appreciate it and enjoy it for what it is as well. So at the moment, I have been downsizing getting rid of things that we may not need, finding new homes for things that we love but we can't take with us on the bus and putting into storage things that we're going to need again. And one thing that I've really struggled with parting is our books, especially the ones that have guided me along the way from simple living to native bush foods to some more exploratory mushroom picking types of books and even reading inspiring stories from other homesteaders and gardeners as well. These are all some of my favorite books that I have collected over the years, but unfortunately they're going to be a bit awkward and also a little bit large and cumbersome to take on the bus with us. So I want to share the love, I want to share the learning and along the way, not only help you guys to discover some new inspiration, but also share with you something that Otherwise, I would have to get rid of and that would be really upsetting. So as part of this giveaway for the next five to six weeks, I haven't decided <laughs> with my sixth book if I'm ready to give it up or not. But I'm going to put up one of my favorite books that I have collected in my home library over the last few years. And these books are going to be up for grabs. Keep in mind, they are secondhand, so I may have scribbled a note or two in them. So each week and starting with this week, this is the first book up for grabs in the giveaway. So you'll be able to follow the link down below to our Buy Me A Coffee page where you will find the link for this giveaway. It is completely free to enter. The Buy Me A Coffee page will collect your email address and your name so that we can contact you if you're a winner and also contact you with more details about the giveaway. Each week you will need to apply for each giveaway to be a potential winner and at the end of the week I will announce the winner as well. So that way whoever is the winner of the giveaway genuinely wants the book that is up for grabs and it isn't just going to someone that doesn't really care. I don't want this to be a wasteful giveaway, I really want it to be purposeful. So if the future setting book is something that interests you and you would like to be a part of the giveaway to score this secondhand book, then you can apply at the link down below. Along with the books, I will also include one of my macrame keychains, which you can use on your favorite bag, you can use it in your car, you can use it on your keys, you can really get creative with it. So a keychain, one of my favorite books, and also one of my favorite Marigold lip balms. This is perfect for lip balm. It's also great for skin ailments like itching, eczema, and all kinds of other things. So each giveaway is up for grabs. This is the first one. And if you are keen to be a part of it with your chance to win, follow the link down below. And once again, thank you so, 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 so much to all of you, 4,000 strong, 4,000 humans connected by one incredible passion and desire to make the world a better place.
I'm still skeptical about those muffins, but I'm trying to stay hopeful. They're looking pretty flat, so I don't have a lot of confidence. Um, but I'm giving it a go. We'll see. Might be all about technique with these ones, whether they work or not. So apparently low heat, four minutes on each side, covered up. I'll let you know. Also, I'm doing some sushi with the pork that I made yesterday. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Just cooking the rice. Not bad. This one's puffy. <laughs> These ones are okay. That one didn't do anything. Oh, let's try the next lot. I am glad I didn't throw these out. They are definitely all about the technique and this process of four minutes on each side at a slow cook is I is the thing <laughs> that gets them tasting good. Not bad. This is the bad one. Now they're puffing up really well. As for the sushi, I ended up seasoning the rice with vinegar, sugar, and salt at a ratio that was recommended. And so I'm hoping it tastes authentic. <laughs> really, you should let your rice cool, but I never do. That's okay. Cucumber. Avocado. Shop on me. I was going to warm up the pork, but mm. no, just leave it. And sriracha. Beautiful. Perfection. Yum. And they're looking great. So far, that's two recipes that have turned out really well. The sushi se seasoning with the rice, vinegar, sugar, and salt. Game changer. I think that is the flavor that it's been missing. Because I've been using rice vinegar this whole time, and it's been missing that balance. But the sugar and the salt... Perfect. So I did four tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of salt to like one and a half cups of rice or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just in case you guys didn't realize that the fact that I can make sourdough bread in some capacity here on the stove means that we can have bread on the bus, right? Like I won't have an oven, most likely. So this is going to be unnecessary if I want puffy bread as opposed to, you know, my tortillas and my pita bread is perfection, but I need something more solid for sandwiches. So for now, that's awesome. This is the first one. And if you are keen to be a part of it with your chance to win, follow the link down below. And I can't wait to announce the winner on the YouTube video next week. Good luck.